What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for some more FU. That's right, we're doing the FU tier and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far, honestly. Uh, if you don't know about FU, of course, there is a link in the description below if you want to check that out. If you don't, uh, basically what it is is it's just below PU and PU is below NU, so it's just uh, Pokemon that are never, ever, 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 ever used, basically, unless you're me because I use a lot of these Pokemon outside of this tier. But anyway, we actually are 3-0 coming into this episode, or this part, or whatever you want to call it, which is kind of surprising. So we'll see how we do today. Uh, wow, this is a cool-looking team. Anyway, as we're getting started today, just a friendly little reminder in case you guys haven't done so already and you would care to show your support to the channel, the series, and all that fun stuff, you can do so by uh, leaving your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you like FU, uh, or if you can always just leave a like on the video, that works too. Whatever you would like to do is fine by me. I always appreciate uh, when you guys take the time out of your day to show some support. It means a lot. Um, Alright, so... I'm going to lead off with Dwebble as I usually do. I would love to have Rocks up. Um, unfortunately, it looks like he does have a Rapid Spinner in that Sand True. Probably going to be physically defensive if I had to guess. Uh, we may see Monferno leading off. Uh, Monferno is usually a, a pretty good lead. It can carry the Fake Out, it can carry Stealth Rocks, uh, it can have Taunt, U Turn, Mock Punch as priority. It's got a lot of different things. Well, looks like I surprised somebody by actually saying good luck, have fun. I guess, I, you know what, a lot of people don't say it. It just... I don't know what it is, but people just don't say good luck, have fun. You have to say it first, or you're just not going to get anything. Kind of strange. Anyway, we see the Electaba is starting things off here. That's a little bit unexpected, but I'm assuming a Volt Switch will be coming. I think, e yeah, there's the Volt Switch, it does about 50%. Either way, I'm staying in to uh, set up the Stealth Rocks. And at least force that Sandshrew to use Rapid Spin. And the uh, Sandshrew is going to come out here. There's really not much I can do about it, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't have a, uh, a Spin Blocker. I can switch in Dawn here and just start Scalding all over the place. He doesn't really have much to switch into that. Other than Walrin, but Walrin doesn't like getting burned either. Um, Articuno really would be the only switch in. But anything getting burned would be a problem for him, I guess. Except maybe the Electabuzz. That's the only thing that doesn't really care about being burned because it's already pretty frail. Uh, either way, we're going to be switching out Tyke here. We don't want to leave him in against the Sandshrew, who we can't really touch. So we are going to go into Tusk here, as he does go for the Rapid Spin, so that kind of stinks. I was hoping he would try to set up his own Stealth Rocks first. He may, in fact, try to do that this turn, which is fine. After a Dragon Dance, we should be able to outspeed everything on this team. Um, we should be able to outspeed everything. He does go for the knockoff, so there goes our Eviolite. I don't think he can take us out from there, though. Um... So his moveset's probably Rapid Spin, Knock Off, EQ, uh, Stealth Rock. So there we go. Uh, but we have Aqua Tail because I'm not running Poison Jab because I haven't seen any Fairy types. And since we started the session, I haven't really seen any reason to replace either one of the coverage moves that I have here. So of course, now that I said that, the very next battle that we get into will have a ridiculous Clefairy. Um, so that is that. We could try to predict... Wall, we're going to come out here. I'm going to do that, and I'll go for Dragon Claw. And the opposite, stay in with the with the Sandshrew and just goes for the Stealth Rocks. Hmm. Now the Wall, run maybe comes out. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Is he just sacrificing his Sandshrew here? Because if that's the case, that's fine by me. I should be able to rapid spin these rocks away, and I might even have a chance to uh, set up some more rocks of my own. He just stays in, lets me drag and dance up here, so I'm at plus two attack, plus two speed, which means I should outspeed most things, even if they're scarfed, I would think. I mean, Fracture is pretty slow to begin with, but at plus two, feeling pretty confident. Anyway, we can go for an Aqua Tail here. Thankfully, it didn't miss. Otherwise, that would have been a big problem um, because we would have went down to an Earthquake there. But nonetheless, the Sandshrew goes down, and we can get a lot of damage off on something coming in here. Now, the worst possible scenario 
Yes, in comes the, uh, what's it called? The Monferno here. The worst case scenario is that this thing has Fake Out and Mach Punch, or that Mach Punch is just barely enough to take us out since we don't have our Eevee Light. Either way, I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw here. It's really my only play. There's no reason to not go for it. He doesn't have any resistances. And uh, Monferno is pretty darn frail to begin with, so I don't think it's going to take a plus two uh, Dragon Claw. He does have the Fake Out, and he probably has the Mach Punch too. So I think we might go down here, which really stinks. I mean, on the bright side, he can't do anything to War Turtle, so we can come in and Rapid Spin. But still, I mean, I guess he could have Thunder Punch. So Mach Punch, Fake Out, Thunder Punch. That's a weird combination of things. Oh, he just brings in his Gabite. Oh, okay, I see. He's not carrying the Mach Punch. He wanted to get that Rough Skin. And he was okay with just sacrificing his goodbye to do so. He must have had no other option. Uh, and, I, and I understand there. I, I guess he was hoping that the fake out would have done more. I'm not really sure. But we knocked out two Pokemon, so that's not too bad. I would really have liked for this Monferno to be one of those Pokemon. We can't do anything about that. I'm not going to try to preserve this thing. I'm just going to let it go down to a fake out here. And then we have a couple of options, really. We could even bring in Ninjask if we were okay with taking the, the Stealth Rock damage. And then, uh, you know, Aerial Ace or something. Because he really wouldn't have much to switch in on that. Even Electabuzz should get to it KO'd. But either way, we're going to go into the War Turtle here because that's really the best play. Probably. Uh, we can rapid spin those rocks away so that Ninjask isn't taking all that damage, and Dwebble too, really. If we want to have any hope of setting up rocks late game, we kind of need Dwebble to be alive. So that's, yeah, that's kind of a thing. I keep saying that a lot. Why is that my catchphrase? Is that that is a thing? Everything is a thing. My goodness. Come up with something else to say. He does have the Thunder Punch, so that's kind of interesting. It only does 28%, and we do get the Rapid Spin off, and now we can go for a Scald. Um, did he show a Life Orb or something? Why does he have 96%? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, it wasn't a Life Orb, and we get a Crit Scald, which takes it out, and he's not really happy about that, because another Thunder Punch would have taken us out. I mean, we could have easily come in with... Electabuzz to finish it off, but he could have kept the Monferno and switched into something else. Um, I don't know what else he would have switched into. Articuno and Walrin don't want to switch in on Electabuzz. He'd have to bring in his own Electabuzz, and... Yeah, I mean, you don't want to take unnecessary damage on that, I guess, because it's so frail. Even if it's just a T-Bolt from another Electabuzz. So now we're in a little bit of a pickle here. What do we do? Do we want to sacrifice this thing? I think so. There's no reason to just bring in Meganium and take damage for, for nothing, essentially. Um, and Dwebble should be able to survive a Volt Switch. So, uh, he might go for a Volt Switch here, in fact. Yeah, he does go for the Volt Switch here. So, we could we can just bring in whatever we want. Our own Electabuzz might be the best choice here. Because his two other Pokemon are both weak to... Uh, Electric, so that puts us in somewhat of a good position. Although looking at his team, Meganium doesn't appear to be very useful. The only thing it would be useful for is if we get uh, stuck with fighting Electabuzz at the end. I'm not sure. Still don't know what kind of set that Electabuzz is. I don't think it showed Life Orb. No, it didn't. So, I guess it's Specs? I really hope it's not Scarf. If it's Scarf, we might just lose because then it's going to outspeed Ninjask and kill it um, and it can outspeed and focus blast our own Electabuzz to death. So that is a bit of a problem, but I guess there's no way to know for sure. We haven't put it into position where we can figure out what it, exactly it is. So I'm going to go into scales here. And we can put some pressure on this team by you turning out. And that should deal a solid chunk to this Walrin. 39% to a Walrin, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't want to go into Flora because an Ice-type attack would be disastrous for us. So I'm going to go into Dwebble. 
and we'll see if uh, what he goes for. He goes for the ice beam. We actually take that. We're not going to be able to get rocks up, but I'm going to try in case he wants to switch here. I don't think he's going to want to do that because I don't think he wants to risk me having rocks up. He's just going to go for the surf to finish off the webble, which is fine. And uh, this puts me in a bad spot here because 73%. You know, he has the lefties. I'm not confident that a T-Bolt will take out this Walrun from there. I don't know that it will. I mean, we pretty much have to go for it because Volt Switch definitely is not going to do enough. I guess it depends on what the defensive spread of this is, if it's defensive at all. I mean, it showed Ice Beam and Surf, so maybe it's like HP and Special Attack and it's kind of like a, a tank type of roll. He goes for the Protect, so he's going to get more lefties there. He gets up to 79%. Now we'll go for Volt Switch. I don't think I don't think a T-Bolt is going to work here. I don't think it's going to do that much to a Walrin. So might as well Volt Switch and save the HP on this Electabuzz. Because with what I have left, I need something to be able to take on that Articuno. And since I kind of just threw away Dwebble and was not able to get up the uh, the Stealth Rocks, we're going to have to deal with it from max HP. And it has decent natural special bulk. So even if it's not invested, which it probably isn't, um, I don't know that a Thunderbolt will kill it from, you know, from full health. So we need to try to be healthy here. He's taking some time thinking about his move here. Uh... I don't think he's going to go for a double protect. Maybe he'll switch in his own Electabuzz. That's possible. Nope, he's just going to leave the Walrun in. Volt Switch did about 45%. So yeah, I don't think uh, T-Bolt was going to do, you know, what, 30? Or I'm sorry, was going to do an extra 35%. Yeah, don't think that was going to happen. Switched in Meganium there, hoping he was going to go for the Surf, and he goes for the Ice Beam and gets the Freeze. That is not good. Yeah, that was that was pretty much just payback there, I guess, for, for the critical hit earlier. But Freeze is worse. Freeze is a lot worse. Frozen Solid is going to Ice Beam me again. And I'm surprised that I took a couple of those. This whole time he's getting uh, he's getting recovery here. Would it have been better to just T-bolt it? Knowing it wasn't going to kill and then risk dying to an ice beam? Or surf, either one? I mean, I don't know. If we could have got Meganium in safely, we could have gone for a Giga Drain and been in better shape. See, now what worries me is that that, that uh, Electabuzz is Scarf, and if it is, now we lose, because Meganium is, is done. And uh, looking at it from my opponent's side of things, it really doesn't make any sense to go for Surf. I mean, why not just go for Ice Beam? If I switch, then you're going to hit whatever I switch in super effectively. Really no reason to worry about it. Um... So I guess that was kind of a silly switch on my part, but it was only doing 40%. I could have easily Giga Drained and Synthesis and with the lefties and all that stuff. I think I could have outlasted this Walrun provided it didn't have Rest. But it didn't, it wasn't Resto Chesto because it had lefties. So that really stinks. That puts me in a bad spot because that Meganium was my only answer to the Electabuzz. Because Ninjask is not going to do it. Unless that Electabuzz is Specs. If it's Specs, we have a chance. He's going to Protect. And it's going to bring him up to 59%. I think that we should be okay here, though. Because Volt Switch did 45. So Thunderbolt should do around 60. That makes sense. That makes sense. If it doesn't kill, we're extra in bad shape. Oh, it does kill. Okay. So down goes the Walrin. Now we have Articuno and Electabuzz left to deal with. We'll see what he wants to come in with now. If he's going to go straight into the Electabuzz, he is. And what do you have to hit me with? 
probably not packing the HP ground. You probably are going to go for the same thing that I'm going to go for, which is Focus Blast. The last time you were in, you didn't show Life Orb, so that's why we're assuming that you are choice in some manner. Just a matter of what. Now, I am max speed, so uh, he's pulling off the Hidden Power. It looks like Hidden Power Ice. We miss our Focus Blast. Oh my goodness. This is getting a bit haxy. I know I got a critical hit, but... Uh, and a Focus Blast miss isn't anything to worry about, but... The Freeze is what's lingering on my mind. But there's nothing you can do about it. It's bound to happen. So, getting all salty doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't do you too much good. I was, I'm like partially tempted to just only go for T-Bolts and not even bother with Focus Blast just because of that miss. I feel like I'm just going to miss all of them. Uh, I really hope he just won a speed tie there. I really, really hope that he just won a speed tie, but judging by the fact that he's only doing 24% with uh, Hidden Power Ice or Grass or whatever it is, I think he's scarfed. And thanks to our Life Orb, it's going to bring us down into range where he can KO with another HP Ice. <sighs> we can try to bring in Scales here and see if we can uh, survive a hit. Or hope that it's HP Grass and not Ice. I mean, that's really my only hope at this point. Scarf, if it's Scarf, he outspeeds anyway. And that just one-shots us. Alright, so that's going to be the match. Ah, oh, man. So if we didn't get that freeze or we didn't get uh, the Focus Blast miss, we at least would have taken out the Electabuzz. I don't know if we would have gotten past the Articuno or not, but um, we would have had a better chance. I would think that a T-Bolt plus uh, a, ch a Choice Banded Aerial Ace from a Ninja would be enough to take out the Articuno. I don't know. Uh, regardless, that is going to be the result. It's going to be our first loss of the session, so that kind of stinks. He says GG. Um, there's a little bit of lag there, but down goes Emmy, and yeah, that was going to be the match, so thank you very much for that. Talking like this person is a subscriber, Alwison, or Al, Al, Alwison, I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Anyway, that is it for part number four, we have one more part left to go, and the session is almost over already, kind of went by fast. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this part, and uh, if you enjoyed, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, and I will see you all next time, but until then, game on.